welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Yes, it's Chu. And what are we doing today, Ma? Today we're doing meat rolls. Yes, and we're going to be doing them in the air fryer. We're very rare, rare. We're very aware that the cost of everything is going up for everyone, and lots of people have been asking for air fryer recipes, and we thought this is a really nice one. It's a side dish, yeah. um, and I'll put up the cost per unit. Unit? That seems a bit too business-like. Cost per roll? Serving. Serving up for you. These are relatively cheap. Um, the only investment you're going to have to make is probably in some spring roll wrappers. Yeah. Um, other than that, we've tried to make this so most of this stuff you'll have at home and then a couple of ingredients that you might not have but we'll say it's optional. Yes, it's optional but if you don't have the, the roll you can like flat it and then put it in so mum's mum's about to say if you don't have the wrappers just make burgers from them which you can <laughs> actually do so yeah yeah that's a nugget yeah nuggets or, or, yeah. or meatballs yeah, yeah. Meatballs and nuggets. but we did that last video yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's what you could do is think of something else eh? yeah yeah. <laughs> you, yeah you think of something else <laughs> anyway we'll get on with this the wrappers are only like two pound fifty each for i think 40. yeah they're relatively relatively like, cheap recently. yeah and they but, freeze yes um, so yeah Anyway, we'll get on with the video. So right, first off, we've got, what's this, Mum? Minced pork. Yeah, minced pork, and this is the cheap one. It costs £2.25, it's 12% fat, which is nice because the fat's going to keep the meat nice and tender, which is, is a relatively good. Yes, good value. Good value. Yes. So we're using that one today. We're going to add one finely chopped carrot. Normally you use water chestnuts, but they're expensive and they're intense, so we're using the carrot today. That's cost us less than 5p. Yeah, less than 5p. Yeah. Small onion. This is roughly, what, about 10p, Ma? Oh, less than that, I would think. Oh, less, yeah, maybe. No, it's about 10p. Is it? Yeah, I imagine. I don't it. know. How, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Oh, it depends uh, on where you get your veg from, though. Precisely, isn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah. We've got about half a bulb of garlic finely chopped there. That's about 20p's worth. One teaspoon of salt, which is about a penny of that. Same for MSG. Again, it's probably about two pence there. Quarter teaspoon of white pepper, about a penny, again. Yes. Just literally, probably an eighth teaspoon of five spice. If you've got it, you've got it. If you don't, it's completely optional. Um, you don't want too much of it. It's just to give a nice aromatic in the background. An egg, about 10p. Ordinarily, we use potato starch or corn flour. Now, we know a lot of people out there might not have that, and you don't want to go out buying that just to have in your cupboard. So we're going to use plain flour, which is going to work. It's not as good, but it's what you have to hand, really, isn't it? Yes. And just a teaspoon of what? Dark soil. Yeah, this is literally just for colour. Again, totally optional. And mixing it up now. Yeah. If you've got chives or spring onions, you can whack these in as well. Again, those are normally sort of things that aren't normally lurking around in people's fridges. We wanted to make something, you know, that you probably have got just lying around. Just make use of the remaining of whatever you have left over in your fridge. Exactly. So minimal cost. Yes. Minimal outlay, I should say, actually. Yeah. And we'll teach you how to make like a soy dip that we use and we store in the fridge for months. It's a chilli one, but chilli is optional. It works really well with this. And like I said, you only need a small amount, um, literally enough to dip your rolls into any more than that. It's quite strong. Yeah. Again, you can add fresh ginger, but that's quite expensive. So if you have that lying around, whack in about 15 grams, finely chopped, obviously. And that's all done. And we'll get on to building these. So first off, these are the wrappers that most takeaways are going to be using. There are other brands out there, but this is pretty much industry standard. These work out to be around 6p a sheet, and you only need one sheet per roll, especially at this size of the eight inch. If you use the smaller ones, you're gonna to have to cut them in half and then make, it's, it's, it's a bit of a faff. So we've gone with the larger ones for you today. These can be found in any good Chinese takeaway supermarket, Chinese takeaway supermarket, any good Asian or, or supermarket. So we get on wrapping. Also, you need to make a flour um, slurry. This is literally just two tablespoons of flour and I added probably about 50 milliliters of water, maybe a little bit more. I did it by eye because you want sort of a glue consistency because that's what we're using it for, food glue, really. Yes. Yes. To make the pastry stick. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. Ma? Yeah, do you want, do you want me to roll? Yeah, go on. 
So what? I've, I've done everything in the last few videos, Mum. <laughs> yeah, go on, Karen. I tend to just uh, pull it apart first. But you can just pull one as you go along, but I find it a little bit... Um, Restrictive. Yeah, yeah, and because your hand is messy, you don't want to try and get them all yeah. stick together and get messy. Yeah, because you're going to have to use your hands to put them... I mean, you can yeah. use a spoon if you I, want. I use the spoon then, yeah? Are you going to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> spoon. Yeah. So you put your sheet down, and then what, Mum? I put the paste down. Yeah, and you just want a tiny bit at the top. And that's just so when you roll it over, it sticks. Grab some of your filling. Spread it along. You can always, if you think a bit too small, you can always add to it. Yeah? Yeah. Roll them, fold the sides over. Tuck them in using your fingers. And then keep rolling. Mum did that, obviously, quite well because we're used to it. Then simply place them in a tray. Now, if you're going to freeze these, when you put them, freeze them in a tray like this, but don't let them touch. And then the next day, you can take them out and then put them in a bag. Because if you freeze them together, they'll stick. Try and break them apart. You'll have massive chunks missing in rolls and you, you, don't, you don't want that. No. no. Do, we're going to do one really slowly for you. Paste on top, then filling. You want to try and get it evenly distributed so there's no pockets of air in there. Roll it over one side and over to the next. Now describe what you're doing here, Mum. Fold it. Yeah, and then you're using your fingers to hold. Hold it. Yeah. And then you start rolling so, so it becomes round. Yeah. Yeah, slowly, gently. And there you That's have it. it. And we're going to finish these off and then cook them. Okay, so we got 22, well, we got 23, but with a little piddly one here. Yeah, out for, of that. The, for a small little lamb. Yeah. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put them on a tray, spray them with some, what's that called? Light, light spray. Spray light or whatever. Yeah. On both sides, we're going to put them in for 200 degrees in the air fryer for seven minutes. Turn them over and repeat for another seven minutes. Now yes. these are going to burst in the middle. There's nothing you can do about that. You can wrap them less tight. If you wrap them less tight, they're not going to burst, but these are going to burst. Yeah, they do. They do burst. But that's fine. That's normal. They just end up looking a little bit like that. Nothing. No dramas there. I like it like that because, you know why? Why? The juice, juice is, is still there. tasty, yeah. Sick stick onto the pastry is really tasty yeah if you want to stop that from happening don't wrap them so tight and they're not going to burst because what's yeah. happening is the meat's contracting and then and then it's pulling itself up into like a little ball like a volcano yeah that's how to stop that from happening but we don't care it's still delicious yes and then we're going to take them out and we'll show you how to do the sauce dipping sauce yeah okay so here's the sauce we're using one of these o'donnell's uh Moonshine jars, we're going to be doing a collaboration with them soon. I just happened to finish this one off myself, so it's empty and they're nice little jars, so I thought we could use it. Yes, make use of it. Mm -hmm. Recycle. So, into this jar, we're going to put about 20 grams of chives. I did not think this through. 20 grams of chives. That cost a pound. Like I said, you'll get 30, 40 portions of like dipping sauce out of this. Four crushed cloves of garlic. We've got five chilies, this is optional by the way. Five chilies here, chopped up. If you want it hotter, add more. If you don't want it, just remove it. Yeah, exactly. 200 ml of dark soy sauce. And 300 ml of light soy. And a good couple shakes of Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce. You can use any Worcester sauce really. One, two, three, four, five, six, and 28, 29, 30 shakes. Then we're going to whack the lid on and then what, Ma? Give it a good shake. Yeah, we are. Shake it to shake the it. right, shake it to the left. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake it. What song's that? It's Outcast song, isn't it? Shake okay. it, shake, 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 shake it. Hey, yeah. Uh, I forgot that. Shake it, shake, shake, shake it. No, that's not right, is it? No. Anyway, there you have it. This is best if you leave it out on the side for a week and then refrigerate it but you can use it straight away. Like I said, keep for months in the fridge and you only use a tiny bit at a time. So let's say that tiny bowl there, that's less than an ounce. We call it a two ounce, is it a two ounce? Yes, two ounce to the three. 
And just take out. As much as they want. And that's essentially one portion. Yes. Right, so here they are, the air fryer spring rolls. Mm. They're really good, mm. Mm. These work out to be 23p a roll. It's yum. Nice and crispy. Carrots give it a nice flavour, earthy. Sweet flavour. Mm. Cut into the pork. Soy sauce is just so good though. Mm. Super, I think that's probably crispier Crispy. than if you deep fat fried it, I might. Mean. It's a different kind of crispy though. Mm. It's not as tasty. It's more bready like this, isn't it? Mm. Super yum. These are also much healthier for you than deep fat frying them. I'm gonna be honest, I prefer them deep fat fried, because you know, deep fat frying, but these are really good. They are considered the air fryer, yeah. Mm. Different texture of the crispiness as well. Mm -hmm. But this one you can touch it more of the, what do you call the? The skin. Yeah, more. Yeah. Like the deep fried, not the deep fried, deep fat fry. <laughs> the deep fat, <laughs> deep fat frying. Yeah, and give it more flavour, mm. including the, the pastry skin. If you're not on a budget, throw some ginger in there, some chives, maybe a bit of 13 spice. And you can serve this with sweet chilli, of course, but like sweet chilli is quite expensive. But like this little dip, like I said, is gonna do all of these. And we still got loads left over. All of that left over, and that's gonna keep for ages in the fridge. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is right. Hope you enjoyed that. These are really, really good. Tasty. Um, tasty. Delicious. If you'd like to support the channel, head over to our recipe vault. There you'll find the written recipe for this and the video along with it. We'll also find extra videos depending on what tier you're on and written recipes as well. Live streams that are only there for our supporters. But yeah, head over there. Oh, and a cookbook is also available on pre-order. The hardback, we can, we've, we can, are, uh, what's the word? In the process of... Um, Getting them printed. Yes. They won't be here before Christmas. They could be, but we're saying they won't be. It's a pre-order. They're not currently available. You can get it as an ebook on Kindle store though. It's not compatible with an actual black and white Kindle. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Follow the recipe and happy cooking, happy eating. Oh, oh. careful.